Warren Buffett opens his shareholders meeting to the world. Just point and scan, now you can get your ATM cash without a card. And 3D printed designs hit the runway at New York Fashion Week. This is BizWire TV, where your news is made. I'm Erin Aid, top of the wire this week. A first for one of the most anticipated financial events of the year, Warren Buffett's annual Berkshire Hathaway shareholders meeting. Yahoo Finance announced that it will live stream the event from Omaha. The annual meeting attracts tens of thousands of shareholders every spring, but it's always been closed to the general public. However, that all changes this year. Yahoo Finance says the exclusive live stream will kick off with on-site reporting at 10 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, April 30th. Chairman and CEO Warren Buffett says partnering with Yahoo gives the company the opportunity to reach more people than ever around the world. Berkshire Hathaway is the parent company of BusinessWire. Reaching for cash at an ATM usually requires the swipe of a debit card until now. FIS and PayPal have teamed up to offer cardless cash. It's a new technology that has just rolled out at 2,000 ATMs across the country. The tech is embedded in the mobile apps of participating banks. Customers access their account and then just point and scan to withdraw money. BMO, Harris and Wintrust are two of the banks that have been using the technology since Cardless Cash launched last year. On to some quick biz hits, Ford is accelerating its global SUV lineup into the next decade. Ford SUVs are growing in popularity, especially with millennials. The automaker says it's adding four all-new SUVs in the next four years to meet the demand it expects to see from millennials and baby boomers. Life is full of twists and turns, but it's kind of nice when you get to decide how many. Garmin has introduced two new navigators built for bikers. It says the Zumo 595 and 395 are hands-free, waterproof, and designed to help motorcyclists find winding roads and hills to ride. The devices are scheduled to hit stores in April for just under $600 and $800, respectively. And Viacom is extending its deal with Snapchat. The global media company says the partnership includes selling Snapchat's advertising inventory and producing exclusive content like MTV's new Snapchat Discover Channel. And the story spread through social channels, reaching 44 million people, according to our new V Media Monitor. Another top new V trender was a whopper. Burger King has reached more than 66 million people when it announced it's adding flame-grilled hot dogs to the menu. And some big trending stories emerged from New York Fashion Week. New V recorded more than 62 million people reached when Rihanna debuted her new Fenty Puma by Rihanna collection. This is her first full collection as a creative director since teaming up with a sports brand back in 2014. <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger embraced island life for his spring collection, but the fashion brand says this will be the last one where people will have to wait to buy the styles in stores. Almost 22 million people were reached when Hilfiger revealed it will shift to a direct-to-consumer model in September. That's when Hilfiger will debut its Tommy X GG capsule collection, a collaboration with supermodel Gigi Hadid. Hilfiger says the show will be a multimedia broadcast so people can watch and immediately buy anything they see. We saw the future of fashion walk the runway in 3D printed designs. Designers at 3S4 unveiled two cutting edge 3D printed dresses at the company's show. The dresses were produced in collaboration with 3D printing technology from Stratasys and designer Travis Fitch. And technical functional streetwear is the sweet spot for Kit and Ace, and it's really paid off. Fast Company named the Canadian retailer one of the world's most innovative companies for 2016 and ranked it in the top 10 most innovative companies in retail. Kit and Ace launched just 18 months ago and is now online in nearly 60 locations worldwide. Finally, let's bookend the Buffett livestream story with another live stream you don't have to wait until April to watch. It's a new live nest cam featuring a pair of bald eagles. The American Eagle Foundation says the twosome, named Mr. President and the First Lady, laid their first egg on President's Day at the U.S. National Arboretum in Washington, D.C. Two HD video cameras are catching all the action, now streaming live 24-7 on eagles.org and dceaglecam.org. Be sure to catch BizWire TV every Friday, the Accelerator Report on Sundays, and check out all of your top news at any time on businesswire.com.